Northeast Ohio has seen its share of snow this winter, but some people seem to think this storm was one of, if not the worst, we've seen in a while. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is out live tonight. And Deb, the storm didn't keep us down for long, thank goodness. Yeah, we got through it. Everybody you talk to tonight says this morning was bad, but they say, hey, it's Cleveland, and tonight the show must go on. Downtown Cleveland was all dug out from the latest snowstorm in time for the Amy Grant and Michael W. Smith concert tonight at Playhouse Square. We braved it and uh, hit the road and here we are. Euclid Avenue, a far cry from what downtown looked like this morning as it was being battered by snow and winds so strong you could hear light poles shaking. It was just bad. The hardest part is waiting on the buses. It's cold. You know, if you ain't got no gloves, you ain't got no hat, you you about messed up. Driving wasn't much better. Good Samaritans were out in force helping panic-stricken commuters who were literally stuck in a rut. And the Channel 5 parking lot wasn't any better. The extra boost is these, Jim. Go, go, go. Flights out of Hopkins were canceled. So was school for thousands of students who've already exceeded their allotted number of calamity days. Snowplows were doing their best to keep roadways passable, but perhaps this cross-country ski enthusiast knew best. She passed on the cars and the buses and skied through Rocky River this morning. It's great exercise, and you know when the weather's like this, it's really nice to have something like that you can do where you get outside. Now, I think just about every school district in the area was closed today. The legislature will soon be voting on a bill to increase those calamity days they get from three to five. But even at that, there's going to be a lot of districts that are still over the limit. Live in Cleveland, Deb Lee, News Channel 5. And Deb, just think, winter isn't over yet. I know, I know. <laughs> I tell you. All right, thank you.